How would you like to make sure you have an amazing experience with your wand? Well, let's go through a few basics for everybody and then I'm going to share what I've experienced for me and just a couple of few tips as a practitioner working with clients. Number one, notice, notice, notice. If you wand something and it feels great, that's the part that your body loves. If you wand something and you go, oh, I'm edgy, I'm antsy, I don't want to do it, then stop. Your body knows what it likes and your body knows what it doesn't like. Now, next, I'm going to share with you some of the things that totally surprised me. One, I'm just shy of 70 by a few weeks. And back last fall, I had a pretty severe fall. And it caused some brain discombobulation. And I have a woman that's been working on me for about seven or eight years. And she said, everything just got so tight and compressed. And she said, it was like moving all kinds of boulders. Well, unbeknownst to her, I had gotten our wand and I was doing this. I had, obviously, I'd have it turned on, but I don't want the distraction. I was doing this all underneath my jaw and it just felt so good, so good. And sometimes I'd do a little bit more on my brainstem on both sides. I felt like I could do it for a long time. Well, I did it for two weeks went in to see her. I didn't tell her I'd done anything. I didn't know it was a big deal. And she said, Cheryl. I said, what? She said, what have you been doing? I had to stop and think for a minute. I'd been doing this. She said, it's like everything is moving. And I said, oh, that's wonderful. It means I can get my brain fully restored from a pretty severe accident. She said, now the next part that's just a little bit tight is in here. And I said, on it. So then, in addition to this, I'd close my eyes and go across here. And it felt good too. So I was doing here, across my eyes, and here. And then every now and then, because some of you have what I have, you know those little lines there? Well, I would just open it up, wand, and go, okay, eyes, you're going to look better. Well, in the meantime, I went back to see my PT person, and this area had opened up. And in addition to that, because of the fall, this is my right eye was kind of bulging. This was kind of collapsed and everything started lining up. My eyebrows, my eyes, the dark circles were dissipating. And I went, that's another win, noticing. And then because I do a trade with somebody who's a client and she does facials, I went in and she said, Cheryl, something is changing. And I said, and what is that? She said these age spots all along here, she said they're like 90% gone. And I went, yes. And she said this real rough spot that could have been not so good, it's almost gone. Now you may think it's only vanity to have age spots go away. But when you've got age spots anywhere on your face, your body, your hands, your arms, that also reflects the age status of your organs internally. So when your skin's changing, everything on the inside. And then the next visit, so I'd been doing the wanding for, I don't know, four to six weeks. She said, you know, do any of you have a genetic issue that you wish you hadn't inherited? I had one of those with this turkey gobbler. She said, have you been wanding this? And I said, no, I've just been doing this and every, maybe two or three times. She said, she said, this used to be like a rope, just tight. She said, it's really softening and it's reducing. I mean, that's another home run hit. Well, one of the things I was specifically also working on was, I don't know, three or four years ago, I don't remember when it started, there was a really severe crack in this fingernail. And as it would start to grow out, it would split. I'd have to cut a V in it because it would split way down into the quick. It was very painful. And I've always had really nice hands and nice fingernails. And it was just due to a ton of stress. Now, without getting too detailed, it happened to be here, which is along the circuit in the body that reflects circulation, which could be like cold feet, you get sock lines at the end of the day, there's some lymphatic swelling, and we learned about a lot of this in during the COVID season, which is nitric oxide, subject for another day. So I knew that if this fingernail could get better, that not only were my nails getting better, recovering from stress, but the circulatory system would be improving. Well, guess what? This fingernail, it's not as long as these, 
my nails grow really, really fast. So I've just trimmed them, but it's even and it's not splitting. So my fingernails are getting better. So how would you know some of this? You won't if you don't practice noticing. So think about your body and, and what would you like to see change? Is it your face, your head? Is it blood sugar? For blood sugar, I'm finding that people can just wand down the front of their body, bring it out, bring it back down. Uh, I have practitioners that if, if a client has a tight shoulder, they'll wand the shoulder and then do the service. So think of the areas where your body would really like some support and then play with it. I always drink my water before and after. Prior to the wand, I got maybe, maybe a mug of hot tea in before 10 in the morning. Now I'm getting 32 ounces of wanded water before eight or nine in the morning because my body wants it. This is not hard. I'm not forcing it. I started slow, started with just 12 ounces, slowly built up. The water's easy. My hair's doing better because I dry my hair with the wand. It's silkier. It lasts longer. It can go four or five days between washings versus two to three days. I'm saving money on all kinds of things. And best of all, as 70 is coming around the corner very, very quickly, I'm kind of excited that I can look better than I did at 68, 66, or 60. My face is doing better, my fingernails are doing better, but most important, my brain's doing better. So what's your story going to be? You're going to play, notice, discover. See where you want things to change. Start slow, notice, give yourself time. And when your story happens, share it with us. There's nothing more exciting than sharing your story with someone else because it means that you are excited about your progress. And the more that you get excited about your progress and you share it, the more you own the progress. That's the best win of all.